Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today we are on the new account playthrough, but we're going to be going over kingdom levels and power for beginners. That is what gets you stats in this game, you know? If you ask me, hey, how come your this hits for that and mine only hits for that? Well, usually the answer is your kingdom level and power. They need to be leveled up to get stats. And I'm going to show you what kingdoms to level first and how to do it and all that. So stay tuned, baby. All right. So first things first, you know, getting a good guild, of course. And then you want to open up all your kingdoms. So I got all the kingdoms open. All the quests are done. So none of them have little red diamonds next to them. That means all your kingdoms are open and all the quests are done. That way you can then level them up. Um, now, second thing you want to do is get them all to five. All of them to five. It doesn't cost that much. It's some, a sort, you know, not too much gold to do it. But you want to get all of them to five if you can uh, first. Because it's not that expensive. And you might as well get that extra tri tribute, the mastery. Um, and you get a couple troops, but they're not, you know, super awesome. I mean, fire lizard's okay. But tributes, which are very integral in getting gems. Uh, when you collect your tribute, you get... A certain amount of gems depending on how many kingdoms uh, did the tribute and there's a certain percent chance each hour of which kingdoms will give a tribute and however many kingdoms you get that give a tribute you get that many gems I think minus one or plus one or something like that I think it's plus one actually so if, if I got a tribute of uh, say 10 kingdoms I would get 11 gems um, and that's how you uh, get that we got one percent tribute there one percent tribute one percent tribute one percent tribute um and eventually it'll do a tribute chance i think if you go far enough maybe maybe not i think that's on the uh the stars actually so let's look at the stars here power and view bonuses tribute chance there you go so your tribute reward and your tribute chance so the more tribute chances you get up the more likely that kingdom is to give you uh a tribute but yeah tribute's the main way you're going to get gems in this game the only you can't really farm gems some people say uh treasure hunt but i really don't recommend that because you could do 20 treasure hunts in an hour uh, probably not you know they take quite a while actually so maybe let's say you do five or six in an hour and maybe you get five or six gems that's just not worth it to me when you can just take a tribute maybe get like 10 just from that just taking your tribute every hour but anyway, what we're looking at here is power level 5 on each kingdom has a kingdom skill bonus. So if we go back and um, let's go back, 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 back. Go here, and it'll tell you what kind of bonus you're going to get from that kingdom. So this one gives armor, for example. Um, also, you get one at level 10. So there's kingdom level, and then there's kingdom power. Uh, kingdom level just costs gold up until up until 10, level 10. And you can get a, an, a stat at level 10. So that's what we're looking for. We want to get that stat at level 10 for each kingdom. And then we want to get to power level 5 in each kingdom. So that would give me another armor. So two armor just from this one kingdom. There's 34 kingdoms, and they each give a different stat. And they'll ask you to do certain things to get to the next power level. But... um. For now, let's just go do our kingdom level in the Magic Kingdoms. So that's the kingdom you want to do first, is the Magic Kingdoms. And there's like five or six of them. And like I just showed you, the way to tell, you click on it. You go to, um, actually go to level, sorry. You go to level, and then it'll tell you here, Magic. So we got a kingdom here that gives a Magic stat bonus. Magic is the most important stat in the game. It affects the most troops in the game. It gives you more damage, more explosions. A lot of troops in this game use the magic stat, and that's why it's the most important stat to get up first. So what I'm going to do, I got all the kingdoms. I got all the quests done. I got all the kingdoms to level 5 for that tribute. Now I'm going to go to the magic kingdoms, and I'm going to level them to 10. Now you got to have quite a bit of gold here. That's why I told you in the beginning. Make sure you're in a good guild. Make sure you're doing your adventure board every day, your dungeon every day, getting to PvP Tier 1 every week, and then whatever else you're doing, your events or, uh, you know, challenges or class quests. We got Vault vault Event this weekend. You should be able to get a bunch of gold there. Um, or just gold farming in PvP. 
Uh, but level 10, let's go ahead and do it. It's going to be 115,000 gold. That's how much it costs. You don't have to add up all the gold. That's exactly how much it costs. Let's make sure, though. All right, 996. Confirm. All right, yeah, so we went down by 150. And now we just got plus one magic for everything, everything in the game. Everything in the game gets plus one magic off of that. So that's Dark Stone. We'd also try to do the power as well, but the power, we'll go over that in a second. Um, what other kingdoms have? And the way you check, like I said, level, boom, that's health. You don't want that. I mean, you do, but not right away. You want to try to get all your magic kingdoms to 10 before you even worry about the other kingdoms. Let's check this one. There's magic. Okay, so we're going to do that one as well. Get that one to level 10. Another plus magic. Confirm. Another 115,000 gold. All right, let's find another one. So we got Darkstone. We got Blighted Lands. What's Groshnok? It is armor. If you want to know the, the order of operation here, it's a magic and then attack. And then my opinion, it's life slash armor kind of. Like, I say life first because life... You could have enemies that hit true damage, and life helps more than armor if they can skip right by your armor. But then other people will say, you know, what about Rowan and Guard's Avatar and Tesla and everything? If you get extra armor, you do more damage on those troops. But uh, that's just very specific. So we got plus one armor here. And Mist of Scales, let's go to Karakoth. I'm pretty sure this is a magic kingdom. There we go, magic right there. Plus one magic, let's do it. 107,000 gold. Not sure why that one cost... Oh, I did level 6 on that already. So another magic for us. Just costing gold. So we got Karakoth. We got Blighted Lands. We got Darkstone. What's next? Pretty sure Zalkari is one. Go to level. Level 10. Plus one magic. You can tell right there as well. Confirm. Boom. Another 115,000 gold. And another plus one magic. So we got Darkstone, we got Blighted Lands, we got Karakoth, we got Zolkari. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, I'm pretty sure Silverglade is another one. Go to Silverglade, go to Level, go to 10, plus one magic, confirm. Boom. More magic. Magic will make you do more damage, more explosions. Offense is king in this game, not defense. So you want as much offense as you can get. All right, let's just check all the kingdoms now, because I'm not sure after that. Okay, we got HP. We got Attack. That'll be uh, our next one we go for. More Offense. Offense is king. We got uh, Armor. Leonis Empire. Armor. Okay. Cinema Mirage. We have Attack. So one to keep in mind. Wild Plains. Attack. Another one to keep in mind. Blackhawk. Pretty sure this is attack. Attack. Yep. Keeping that one in mind too. Divinion Fields. We got HP, health, life, whatever you want to call it. Broken Spire. We got life. Uh, what do we do, Mr. Scales? Mist of Scales is armor. Groshnok was armor. Okay, let's go up to Dragon's Claw. We got armor. Forest of Thorns. We got attack. Um, Adana. Might be Kitar. Adana is armor. All right, let's check Kitar. We have armor, so no. I might have got them all already. Draxum. We got attack. Stormheim. HP, life, whatever you want to call it. Uh, White Helm. <laughs> armor. K Zeal. Life. Glacial Peaks. We got armor. Believe me, you don't just want to go around doing whatever. You want to do magic first. Magic is the best. So, we got life there. If I hit them all, Galvania. Life. Zhejin. We got life. Um, any that I missed. What about 
hands fail. Life. Okay. I think I did Golvania already, right? Life. Um, I feel like I'm missing one somewhere. Armor. Pride Lance. Attack. Merlantis. Life. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I'm missing one somewhere. Attack. I guess not. The Honest Empire. Shintang. Life. Okay, well, maybe we got them all. So we got uh, Darkstone, Blighted Lance, Karakoth, Zalkari. And, uh, Silverglade? I swear there's one more. Is there only five out of 34 kingdoms? Hmm. Anyway. Let's keep this moving. But you want to do all your magic kingdoms, and that's most of them there. If I, if I missed one, put it in the comments. I'll probably discover it while we're doing other stuff. But, um, yeah, magic is king. So Darkstone, now we can look at our power. And power is a little bit different than level. Level, it's just gold at first until level 10. But on, the uh, the power of the stars, you got to do certain things here. Upgrade three dark stone troops to level 10. And you kind of want to make sure you can get to level 5 before you do all these other ones as well. But I guess you really can't tell until you do them. And they're magic kingdoms, so might as well. So let's go ahead and try to do this. So you just click on it. So now we got to upgrade three. You can go back if you forget. you got to upgrade two more dark stone troops to level 10. So what I like to do is I like to go over here. I go to base rarity. Because the easiest ones to level are going to be the uh, the commons. Because they cost the least. Oh, that one's level 10. I mean, we could also go by, like, if you think you're going to use the troop, um, you could level it. We just got to do two of them here. Uh, let's just do Magnus. Even though it's a legendary, I might end up using it. Level 10. So just go over here and click to 10. 1,305 souls. I have 70,000 souls, so hopefully I can do this. And that's not the only thing. It's, it's going to have different things each time, what you need to do. All right, one more troop. Uh, Let's just do an uh, easy one so we don't spend a bunch of souls. We'll just do troglodyte. Upgrade level to 10. And this is a low-level account. I'm only level 200-something here. So I'm showing you on a low-level account that it's possible. Totally free to play. All right. So now we did our two troops. Let's go back. Boom. We get a star. Another star for a magic kingdom. All right. So now it's going to say unlock three traits on four Darkstone troops. we got to do that four times. So you might get stuck on one of these. I mean, if you can't. If you don't have the trait stones, you might have to go farm them or something. But uh, once again, make sure you're in uh, base rarity because the trait stones are going to be easier if you do it on like a common instead of a, a mythic. Like Thrall, for example, here. Traits. All right, I got enough to do him. And he's a good troop, so that's one. I forget how many it said already. But like I said, you can just click back. Real quick. Boom. We gotta do three more. Three more. I wish it would stay on base rarity, though. Base rarity. Apply filter. Like, if I could do Magnus, that would be cool. But I doubt it. Because Mythics are hard to, uh... Well, I can, but it's gonna take, like, all my... But we might not even need those. So I might go ahead and do it. Up. Oh. Uh, am I missing something here? Let's just do it. It's probably not a great idea, but... Boom. That's two, so we need two more. Dark stone. All right, we're going to go to the bottom here and try to use the least amount as we can. Maybe troglodyte again. <clears throat> Traits. See, we're missing those. So I'm not going to go get 30 arcane browns. So that might have been a mistake there with the uh, Magnus. Um, Revenant. Upgrade. Traits. Got that. One more. And this is for a magic, so it's worth it. Giant Toad. Upgrade. Traits. 
Boom. Yes. Okay. Let's go check it out. All right, so now we got power level three. We're trying to get the five on our magic kingdoms. All right, now it says upgrade five Darkstone troops to level 15. Okay, so once again, base rarity, five troops to 15. We got Magnus. Go ahead and do that. So that's one. He's also getting stats as he levels up and everything, so that's good. One there. And we're going to go to the commons. Use the least amount. So Thrall's another good troop. Might as well do him as well. Two. Get some stats. Um, Then we'll just do like Troglodyte. That's three. This is totally worth it. You're getting a magic. It'll make everything you got hit harder. Pretty much. Some things don't boost off of magic, but I would say quite a bit does. A good 75% of the troops probably boost off magic. All right, one more. One more to level 15. Do the giant toad. Fifteen, two thousand, two hundred seventy-five. Costs less though than like a mythic or whatever. Okay, let's go check it out. I don't know if I'm gonna go through every single kingdom. I'm just trying to give you an idea here. All right, we got one more. I screwed up there. One more. Um, go back to base rarity. Apply filter. Go to the bottom because they cost less. A uh, remnant. To 15. Yes. And by the time you open up all your kingdoms, all the quests are done, and you're in a good guild and everything, you should have enough souls and gold and trade stones to do at least a little bit of this. Hopefully at least your magic kingdoms. There we go, another star. One more star, and we get another magic. We just got plus five magic, and now we're going for plus six. All right, fully upgrade a weapon from Darkstone. Ugh. Ingots are kind of hard to come by. This could be the difficult one here. We got another, uh, you could do PvP to get these ingots. Spellfire. We got enough for that. 36. What's this one to use? I think those are a little easier. I got more of those. So let's do that. Boom. So we fully upgraded a weapon. Now we need to unlock three traits on seven Darkstone troops. So three more troops. Three more. Base rarity. Apply filter. So this could be difficult, but you might have to farm to get it done. Or you just wait. I check on my kingdom level and power like once a month. I don't, I'm not sitting here every day looking at my kingdom levels and powers. Let's go with that. Swift. 75% mana. That's a good one. I already forgot how many I need to do. It's at least two, though. So let's do another one. Um, Fully traded, fully traded. Maybe Dark Master. Boom. Fully traded. If you want to be picky, you can just pick certain troops, but I recommend doing the lower rarities just so you can get the stat. <clears throat> One more. Okay, one more, one more. Dime Traxia. I think it went out of base rarity again. I don't know why it does that. Does that. Apply filter. Alright, so not troglodyte. Couldn't do Troglodyte Hag, Executioner, Watcher. Let's try Executioner. Inflict Deathmark. Boom, we got it. 
If you don't have the trade stone, you can click on it, as you saw there. So let's say we I was short like one of these. You can click on it, and it'll tell you where to go to explore to get those trade stones. Boom. It's achievement unlocked. I have the power, it said. Okay, what kind of power? Level 5, Dark Stone Baby. Boom, now we got another magic stat. So we don't even want to go any further than that. Once you get to 5, it's going to be hard to get to 10 to get that. But once you do, you get another one. Another magic stat. Just remember, magic is the most important. So we got Dark Stone. Get out of here. To level 10 now. And all white stars. Kingdom Power 5. So Kingdom Power 5 and level 10. All of your magic kingdoms. All right, we got Blighted Lands. Let's see if we can do it again. I'll show this one more example, and then you guys can probably go take it from there, you know? All right, we got... It's on level 10, so we got the stat. Now we got to do power. Upgrade a Blighted Lands troop to level 5. That's pretty easy. We'll just do base rarity. Apply filter. Anything that I actually will use. Herald of Damnation is pretty good. But if you want to like get the most bang for your buck, make sure you do a common. And I'm going to go ahead and do Herald. Good old Harry. 125 souls. Not bad. Level up. He's an empowered converter, so definitely a good troop. Boom, there's our first star. All right, we're trying to get to five stars. Upgrade three Blighted Lands troops to level 10. If you know those ahead of time, you could just do that right away, but I'm kind of showing you step by step here. Base rarity, apply filter. Now we're just going to go down. Actually, let's do a uh, Herald first, because he's actually good. Level 10. So that's one. All right. I think we're still in base rarity, right? We've got our commons down here. They're the easiest to level. Let's make sure there's no other, like, awesome troop, though. All right, come on now. Uh, Not really. Hellcat's okay. Maybe we'll do Hellcat. Upgrade to level 10. So that's two. All right, let's go down to the bottom for the last three. We got Quasit. Let's just show the difference here. We got, to go to 10, it costs 875. 875 souls. Now let's go up, for example, to whatever's my highest rarity in this kingdom. I'll show you the difference here. Even though you're going to the same level... It costs more. Look at that, 1,165. So I'm saving however many, 300 souls by doing commons. Unless, like I said, you have troops that you want to use, definitely do those first. But uh, if you can't decide after that, commons are better. 875. And I did this for quite a while on my main account. I could probably do it right now on my main account and get, like, another star. It's just that at a certain point, there's, like, soft caps. So the stats are king. Once you get the stats, it's like, what am I going to do on my main account? Like, scour all the kingdoms for, like, an extra little bit of tribute or something? I mean, I will, but I'm not going to do it, like, every week or anything. Maybe once a month, like I said. Level to 10. Yes. We need five of these, right? So we got one, two, three, four, and five. So that should be enough. You don't want to overdo it, because we might need souls for another magic kingdom. So I want to do the cheapest possible, the troops you use, and then the cheapest possible, and then don't overdo it. Because then you, could, you might need souls for like a different magic kingdom or... Maybe you want some attack, too. Unlock three traits on four Blighted Lands troops. So if we can get Harold here, that'd be great. 
using a powered converter. Uh, we're short there. Uh, we need four red, uh, red brown. He's pretty much worth it though. I might use an orange orb. So let's go to this. Maybe we'll use a major. Let's see what we got for orbs. Early in the game, I'd recommend just using using these sometimes. Not all the time. I mean, if it's between getting a magic stat or not, I would say do it early in the game. Later on, you're going to want to save your orbs for, like, Zul'Goth and stuff like that. But for now, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do to Armored, though. Then I'll do a, a Minor. Minor Orange gives you one trait. And then the Major Orb will give you all the traits. So boom, we got an Empowered Converter now. Fully traded up. What about uh, Hellcat here? Oh, uh, we're missing that. And that. So, let's go to something else. It's too expensive right now. Are we still on base rarity? I don't think so. Uh, base rarity. So, I'm going to look at the commons. They're easier to trade. Alright, we got Quasit. Did we try him yet? Alright, we can do that. And I forget how many it said. Because I'm a dummy. Alright, two more, two more. Click on it. Base rarity. Two more. Apply filter. Go all the way down. Alright, traits. Two more. Got that. The higher the rarity, the, the harder trait stones that they use. Like arcanes and stuff. Alright, let's try creeper. Traits. Can't. Missing a trait stone. So eventually you'll probably run into a roadblock where you're going to have to wait. There we go. But do what you can. Get those stats. That's why my true pits for this and your true pits for that. Because I went through and did all my kingdom levels in power. And you also get stats from your guild and everything. So if you're in a crappy guild that doesn't get anything done, then you might have less stats too. Boom. You can also get stats in the underworld, but that's something we'll talk about probably next video. Or probably in the future the next uh new account playthrough video i'm going to do is the underworld um upgrade five blighted lands troops to level 15. so we already started on some so let's uh, do the ones we already started on so it'll cost less well actually maybe not 1400 uh we got to get them to 15 yeah definitely costs less than leveling something from 1 to 15. All right, got Hellcat, level 15, boom. You could use green orbs on this if you want to. I'd recommend saving your green orbs for like mythics and stuff though. Uh, got Herald to 15. It said five, right? Okay, now let's do uh, Nightmare and Quasit. Upgrade, level 15, bang, yes. Level up, X, arrow, click, Quasit, upgrade, level 15. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, but that's why, that's how you get your stats. You gotta do this kind of stuff. It's like going back to town and uh, practicing stuff in, 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 a, in a different game, you know? Boom. Power level four. One more to go, and we get another magic. Ooh, we got to do a lot of stuff here. Fully upgrade a weapon from Blighted Lands. Unlock three traits on seven Blighted Lands troops. And collect a legendary troop from Blighted Lands. That's poopy. So I can't even do that one. There's no way. So we're going to have to go try a different kingdom here so you're going to get blocked by stuff like that now what are you what are you, you going to do you can't really do anything there's no way i can get a legendary troop just out of my butt right now so hey at least you know now that you get blighted lands is a little bit harder to get to that fifth star uh 
But yeah, I would just go through, do all my magic kingdoms first. So that I would move on to this one. Power, same thing. Click on this, upgrade, troop to level 5. The next one's like, trait, a certain amount of troops. The next one's upgrade to 10. The next one's like, trade a certain amount of troops. Then the next one hopefully isn't a legendary or something like that last one. But also upgrade weapons, ETC. So I'm pretty sure you get the drift there. Um, just make sure you do your Magic Kingdoms first. So let's do, let's reiterate here. First of all, make sure you get in a good guild. That's, that just helps everything in the game. So it'll help you get more keys to get more troops. It'll help you get more rewards. You get more gold, more souls. You get more stats. Just everything. You get more orbs. Everything. Uh, after that, you want to make sure to open up all your kingdoms. Make sure they're all open. All the quests are done. After that, get all of the kingdoms to level 5. It doesn't cost very much gold, and it's a good way to start out. Then, once you're done with that, do all your magic kingdoms. Make sure you get them all to level 10. It costs like 115,000 gold. Darkstone, Blighted Lands, Karakoth, Zolkari, and Silverglade. There might be one more. I swear I'm missing one more, but those are at least five of them for you. It's not Galvania, right? Nope. So you get all those to level 10. Then when you're done with that, you want to try your kingdom levels and power, like I did here at Darkstone. That's where you check and see if, what the stat is. Here's where you get your first magic. Power, view bonuses, power level 5, kingdom skill bonus. That means magic. So we got that one to 5. We got another magic. So I just gained plus 6 magic. Just from doing the stuff I did in this video. Plus 6 magic is a lot. A lot of troops boost off of magic. Uh, they'll do magic times 2 sometimes. They'll do magic times whatever. Sometimes it just is your magic. Whatever your overall magic is. How much damage they'll do. Stuff like that. So going forward I would continue to level up the uh, kingdom powers of my uh, magic, magic kingdoms. So I'd continue to do that. And if I just got totally roadblocked and couldn't do, do them anymore, I would probably go and start doing uh, attack kingdoms to level 10. So that's a life. I think, yeah, Blackhawk. So I do this one to 10 now. Boom, plus one attack. 115,000 gold. But yeah, magic's first. Just try to level all your magic kingdoms to power level 5. If you can't do it, once you're done, once you checked, once you're roadblocked by a legendary, or you need trade stones, or you need souls, or you need gold, or you need ingots for the w upgrading weapons, once you're blocked by that, then go around, do all your attack kingdoms to 10. Because that just costs gold. And attack's good too. You could have a skull spam team. Always offense is king. So I'd go around and do all my attack kingdoms to 10 next. But yeah, that's probably good for today. I uh, hope you got something out of this. That's where all your stats are. Later on, we'll go down to the Underworld, and you also get stats down here, but that's a whole other story. We'll do a different video for the Underworld. I've got uh, the Underworld open, and I just need to go through and do all the quests and everything, so it might be a little bit. But yeah, that's how you get extra stats in this game. That's a beginner's guide to kingdom level and power. Those are your magic kingdoms. Make sure you do those first. Level 10, power 5 magic kingdoms then level 10 on attack kingdoms then level 10 on life kingdoms then level 10 on armor but try to get those kingdom powers to five on those magic kingdoms too uh but yeah like share subscribe consider joining it helps a lot tell your guild about the channel comment below and i'll see y'all next time peace